Uh, Bortle here, back from the LCS5 event of the online format. We have here a top 8 contestant. My, my goodness, it's Kamal. Wow, and he played the new uh, Inferno Bowl deck. The only Inferno Bowl deck that topped 8, man. Insane. So, welcome to the channel, man. First time ever, Kamal Crooks. What's up? What's up, Bortle and everybody to Bortle's channel? It's great for my first time ever being on here. Oh god, yes. So, uh, why did you decide to play Infernobles versus like Dragma and all that stuff? Okay, so I've been testing with Cam, the man. You are, you guys should know one of the best players in Texas, and I was playing Rock, and he was testing a bunch of Dragma Elbert variant, and I was pretty sure, like certain, I was gonna play Rock for the event. But my friend Christian, uh, aka on DV Evil Mermails, was keep on winning with his warrior deck, and he was swearing pretty bad. He's like, this doesn't look like the best deck to you. Now I'm like, all right, I'll give it a try. I then played two games against Cam with it, lost both games. Then I was like, I guess I'm not going to play this deck for the LCS. To then wake up in the middle of the night saying, F it, I'm going to freestyle and go with this. Wait, hold so on, I, hold on. So, so you just, you lost like two games in a row, but then you said, F it, you're going to end up playing it? Yep. Wow. I, yeah, I still ended up playing it because my Christian was swearing. He was showing his win record on rated, but that doesn't really mean much. So I'm like, if he can do it, I, I'm pretty sure I can do it. The deck was crazy for the tournament, though. After I learned, like, right before the tournament, Cody showed me a combo for the deck where you draw a bunch of cards, like a draw six combo, if I'm not mistaken. And I was just set on it. I was just con constantly relearned that one combo and played it throughout the whole tournament. Oh, nice. Pretty, so you pretty yeah, much so mastered this deck throughout the tournament. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. Would you like to do some shout-outs before we start this deck profile? Oh, 100%. First off, shout-outs to Luxury, my team. Then shout-out to Take Notes for coaching, where it's me, Hani, Christian, Urena, and Cody Angela for right now. Then shout-outs to the group, Take Notes. And also shout outs to Luxury's uh, sponsors, uh, if I'm not mistaken, MetaMats and Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market. Everybody in Florida, the people that I test with, shout out to you, Border for holding it, having me on the channel. Oh God, yes. So there you have it, uh, listeners. Take, um, take notes. Hit them up. Apparently, uh, they have a couple people that actually topped this event, so it's pretty nice. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, uh, without further ado, uh, would you like to start off with uh, you know deck profile? Yeah, so start off with the deck, uh, three connectors, then one dolphin, then three sublin nine knight, if I'm not mistaken, with the one squeak card. I don't even remember the names of these cards, because <laughs> they're so new to me, too. All right, uh, well, we uh, we already know what a connector and a dolphin does, because that's like Goki days, man. Yeah, so the other card that's right next to that is uh, sublin nine knight, and he says... When he's normal summoned, equip a Gemini monster or a Fire Warrior from your deck. So you would equip the Weak Knight from your deck and he unequips. And so it's basically a one card assault deck other than the connector. So uh, the deck kind of lacks one card ways to assault deck. And that one's one of the be better ones because it's searchable to the equip spell. Oh, okay. And uh, this, this Squeak Knight, um, is it, this is a new card, isn't it? Yeah, it's new too. Uh, but, like, you don't ever. But I'm pretty sure the effect won't ever come up for when it's unequipped to make him a tuner because it only. It restricts you from special summoning from your hand or anywhere else. So, only from the extra deck. So, it's pretty much like Terra Top and the Attack and Tomboy. To then uh, go off with the deck, the one Fire Flint Lady, uh, like a keys on in a sense. If you control a warrior, just summon it. And then it tributes to summon a warrior from your hand or lower it kind of comes up in certain matchups and also to play around in permanence then the further ado the infernoble card astrofall he is an extender and he has a second effect that i rarely comes up because Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't last longer than two turns that's true <laughs> uh but that basically summons a fire monster within the second your second standby phase by banishing it and it addresses levels for synchro plays. Ogre, 
that help you play through St. Gerfried and the uh, Durando to make your Renault more alive and helps you play through hand traps. Three, Oliver. I was learning through the tournament that this is like one of the worst cards in the deck, but the deck lacked tuners. It's pretty solid still though, uh, for needle fiber plays and bring. It's good to bring back off of like Metal Marcher to summon Captain Roland. Then three Renard, pretty standard. Then the one six Samurai Gimba card is like the better a level two tuners because it's a fire some people was trying to ask me do you really need it but i'm pretty sure it's like mandatory so it's just here for the level and it's a tuner a tuner and it's a fire to summon okay uh one red layer i probably should have played multiples of that card because i played connector to help vip gammas and it also kills herald then jet synchron and olion you basically need those for like Oh, every needle fiber deck with Aurora Dawn. Then I played Gamma because it's the most impactful hand trap of the format, I felt. But draw, like how my deck was built is probably just not correct going forward. Three her uh, Heritage of the Chalice, Rhoda. Three of the Info Arms is Rhoda. Then one Grenade where you put the card out of your opponent's hand if you don't know the combo. You should look it up. One Living Fossil, one Divine Sword, of course, Rhoda, and then Teleport for Gamma, uh, and then three Impermanent. Nice. So basically, you used uh, six hand traps. Did you ever wish you had, like, a uh, more hand trap count? If I, if I played more combo decks, most likely, but majority of my tournament was Dragma matchups, and my side deck kind of just helped me out through the tournament. Oh, but okay. other than that, six, the six hand traps were fine for the tournament, how my day went, I should say. Alrighty, and this is a, kind of a basically a soul day uh, deck somewhat, so did your three uh, equip spells... Or actually, hold up, you have a lot of equip spells. I have six. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so that's never an issue, dang. Yeah. Unless you drew like all five. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just go to the next game. Yeah. That happens. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, uh, I guess if you want to do the uh, extra deck rundown. Uh yeah, of course. Uh, the two assault because people usually just stop the first assault on the first effect, so you punish them by selling the second one. What's not common is the nightmares. I put, would say for this deck. But I felt like it was pretty easy because the Nightmare Sword would be free uh, cards for me to link climb and clear uh, punishment, uh, block dragon, lord for the format. Aurora Dawn, of course. Link Ross, of course. Probably sh Link Ross should probably be banned by now or next list. But we'll never know. Yeah. Form Formula, Metal Marcher, Herald, Roland. Oh, the TG Librarian kind of not standard at all uh yeah you, you just mentioned that you can draw six cards in yeah one turn. you would saw, draw six cards in one turn you will like have librarian up then you will summon formula to draw two then you just synchro climb what librarian and it's just you gain so much advantage it feels like i was playing a fusion substitute zodiac deck when everybody else was just playing mediocre decks so uh well basically uh it sounds like nibiru can kind of like hinder that combo right yeah uh but like i felt like nibiru wasn't gonna see as much play because uh all the new defensive cards that came out droplet and then talent i felt like people just didn't want to play nibiru and outlet was playing through nibiru with oh the online play rock just had guardian i felt like nibiru would see less play and the Dragma decks will see it will be more popular for that combo to resolve more. So I felt like this event was just perfect for it. Oh, yeah. And uh, lastly, um, we're seeing this uh, Emperor Charles. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, uh, the boss monks, the boss synchro for the deck. Uh, he's basically a Dryden because of Captain Roland. He, during the main phase, when he's in the graveyard, he can equip. And anytime you equip the monster to... Uh, if a quick card becomes a quarter to a monster on the field, he just destroys a card. Like, even during the damage stuff, which is pretty neat. Oh, that is neat. Jeez. I guess overall, uh, would you have changed anything in the extra deck? Uh, the only card I'll probably change in the extra deck is cut the phoenix and put in coral dragon because I needed a level 6 synchro uh, a couple times. Oh, nice. Um, as far as this side deck goes, um, 
pretty uh, powerful uh, standard cards in here. Yeah, I think the side deck is perfect. Uh, the evenlies is really good against the Dragma matchups because they have to, ex like, there has to be an extra deck monster on the field, so they have to throw cards onto, like, the Invoke deck has to put out Macabre on the field, and they're not going to hold traps in their hand to play around evenly match against a war uh, combo deck. So evenly just eats that whole eats it all alive and they either leave themselves with Macabre or punish so it beats two of the three interruptions Alrighty, well the only thing that's like kind of stands out really uh is the imperial order were you afraid to like turn off your like clips and stuff uh no not really because i can pop it with charles if worst comes to worst because i can use the sword to add it back and play it maybe just equip it uh, uh but imperial insane. order it's like really strong right now for opposing Talent, Droplets, Dark Ruler No More, Mystic Mind, um, Lightning Storm. Oh god, yes, we're always drawing the one of. Yeah, when you draw six cards, you can draw one of like the four blowout cards for the blowout spells. And uh, I guess you didn't mind going second because you have the Dark Rulers in here to break pretty much any board. Yeah, going second and like nine to ten cards, even oh. eleven actually, depending upon matchup. Wow. So, uh, what deck took you out in Top Cut? Dragon Link. Uh, I won RPS. He opened Gamma. And Gamma is just like the best hand trap versus the Assault Day deck. So, it ended my turn because I didn't draw any extenders to make Needle Fiber. And he just. I had two hand traps to stop him, but he had another hand trap to stop me and full combo. And then, game two. And he, it was a grind, and then he top deck safer to kill me for living here. And he ended up winning up the whole tournament, so congrats to him. Is there anything you'd like to add in? Hopefully you'll just see more from me. With uh, Infernobles, any other deck? I'm pretty sure any deck you touch is really nice. Yeah, uh, I think Infernobles is going to be the new deck. I think more people should look more into it. It's not garbage. So there you have it, Bortle Nation. Come on, Crooks from Luxury Gaming. And if you're not a part of Bortle Nation, sub for Bortle. It's that easy and it's free. Oh, God, yes. Bortle out.